Hello everybody, it's Mr. here, and welcome to, actually, Minecraft 1.7.10, because we're on a Minecraft mod, believe it or not. There's no texture packs active or anything, all of this is in a mod. Uh, called Zombie Plague Mod 2. I was just looking through, uh, Modrinth, and then suddenly I found this, and I love it. <laughs> To put it simply, it is a very complex, like, zombie mod that's kind of like, um, what, what, what was the mod? Like, uh, The Crafting Dead, if you if anyone remembers that mod. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different structures around. It's all, this is all naturally generated. Uh, and there's a lot of really cool features in it. Uh, for example, all this stuff on in my inventory is actually a randomly selected kit. I've spawned into a few different worlds, it's completely random, and there's a bunch of, a bunch of stuff you can do with it. Um, but yeah, currently I have a pipe, a Winchester, plates, some soap, 60 seconds? Oh, it's, it's a reference to 60 seconds, the game. Water, torches, and a bandage. Oh, and I have a chainmail helmet, apparently. Um, so yeah, this is a zombie apocalypse mod. That actually really leans into the whole zombie apocalypse thing. Also, um, one thing I will mention. Uh, if you do t intend to play this mod, the first feature that you should know about is the fact that daylight lasts significantly longer. Uh, because I don't know what he did with time, with the time features, but, uh, he did something with time features. Also, apparently he's ported some features from, like, newer Minecraft back to 1.7.10, which is very nice. I actually appreciate that. Because there's the whole crouching under slabs thing. And also, all these structures have loot chests. Which are very nice. And there's a lot of randomized loot. There's a lot of stuff. I just kind of decided to just show it as I go, rather than like set up a spot. Because there's so many features in this, I'm not gonna be able to show it in a show them all in a single uh, mod. But as you can hear, there's all sorts of sound effects, and they're biome related. So depending on what biome you are on, you are in, it will. Play a different sound. There's also two different new world types. This is the zombie plague world. Uh, but then there's also another one called zombie plague fun. Which is a super flat version of this. So basically there's super flat and then there's normal default with the structures. Oh yeah, there's also sights and stuff. I should probably really quick talk about sights. Can I attach this to my gun? Can my gun have attachments? I have a scope. Okay. How do I do that? Do I need to have it in my hotbar? How do I... Use scope and hunting scope. Oh. Okay, yeah. So you can, you can upgrade your guns when you have them. They exist. Also, there's a bunch of tabs here. Like, there's... There's so many tabs. In all honesty, the only thing that this, the only a additional mod that I would add, uh, would be like a vehicle mod. This has literally almost everything you'd ever need. We're gonna attach a hunting scope to this thing. I am very curious how. Oh, okay, that's how that works. Okay. Oh, I forgot to load it. <laughs> I am slightly dumb. Also, you'll notice that you always spawn with the ammo for whatever gun you have. Uh, there's all sorts of mechanics, like items you actually have to push F to pick up. Um, there's the screen shake. There's bleed effects, as well as broken bones. I'm not sure how many broken bones, but I know you can break your leg and stuff. Um, let me see, there's also... I heard a zombie somewhere, I don't know where the hell he is. But, yeah, actually, he's probably in the caves. 
But yeah, there's tons of different zombie types. Which are very interesting. I'm pretty sure they're, they actually replaced all of the uh, normal spawning mobs. Um, but also, the zombies in this are kind of smart. Because I've tested them. And uh, they heal themselves by eating rotten flesh. I've literally watched one eat rotten flesh in front of me. Also, another thing to worry about. Um, zombies can break blocks in this. Yeah, and, and it doesn't have the uh, zombie intelligence thing. Or the zombie awareness. Whatever it was. It does not have that. A lot of chests here. Also, I'm sure many of you are wondering why the hell I have plates in my inventory. Um, it's a weapon. Yeah, weird weapon, but it is a weapon. <laughs> you can use plates to fight. It's very cool. I like how they've, like, introduced all of these different things. Also, a plate with bait. I threw that wrong. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you can use that to lure out zombies because it's rotten flesh and they are attracted to rotten flesh. It's very interesting. Because there's actually a lot of old metal crate, old wood crate, old cardboard box, old hiking bags. I have something in it? I don't think I have anything in it. I don't know. Apparently there's a bunch of different stuff in this and it's very cool I, I there's a lot I don't know how to explain all of it um I'll probably just go through it one by one lock pick set I haven't figured out how to use it I think you can open iron doors with it I think um but there's also a GPS uh because in survival mode you don't have access to coordinates so you actually need to get a GPS if you want to know uh, where the fuck you're going. Like, legitimately, if I was in survival mode, do you see where it says my coordinates? That vanishes. I also like how it has players killed, zombies killed, and deaths. Which is very nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to look around and see if I can find a city while I explain features. Um... So, yeah, there's a lot of different structures. There's TNT, which I'm pretty sure I just have to do this, and... As you can hear, very loud, very big explosions. But very good explosions. I honestly like that. I really like the sound of that. Um, but yeah, here's a giant empty field. I'm really hoping this spawns a city. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of different stuff to pick from. Like, there's frames and stuff for chest plates. There's batteries, copper coils. Uh, there's titanium, apparently. Didn't know that one existed. Uh, uranium rods. Also scrap metal. There's rubles. Oh yeah, I should probably mention this This mod is base is a... Uh, I believe the mod developer is Russian. So the so you'll notice on the page it's like got Russian writing and stuff. It's a very cool mod. It's literally everything I would have wanted in a zombie apocalypse uh, mod. It's got all the stuff that other mods just don't have for some reason. Oh! My gun is jammed. Oh, I saw that. I saw something over here. I saw something. What was that? What did I just see? I saw what looked like a straight tunnel down. Is Game Mode Spectator in 1.16? No, it is not. Or not. Why did I say 1.16? It's 1.7. 1.7.10. That is, that is the version. God, I am dumb. So yeah, fair warning, if you do decide to play this mod, it is 1.7.10. 
Uh, I'm looking for some of the cooler structures. I found some really cool ones before. Like, there's an entire, like, giant lab structure that just goes down into the earth. There's, uh, giant cities. There's tons of different structures, in all honesty. There's lag currently, so there might be something spawning in. Hopefully it's a city. It's a city, yes! Okay, I was able to find one. Alright, so here are the city structures. This is what I was looking for. Hell yes. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it spawns in a massive, and I mean massive city, that just kind of appears sometimes. Like, that time it just appeared because I've been flying at high speed. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure if you're walking, it will hopefully just spawn correctly. Um, I actually want to test something. I want to see if I can lockpick this door. Let me see. What is the point of the lockpick set? I know there's a point to it. Where, where, is there locks? Maybe locks. I don't know. Either way. Uh, either way, there's a lot of really cool features on this that I want to kind of try and show off if I can. Unbreakable barbed wire? Okay. Um, but yeah, there's, as you can see, just a bunch of different defense blocks and building blocks. They're very nice in all honesty. There's bulletproof glass, which is nice. Uranium blocks. There's entire, like, really cool looking structures that you can just find. Like, you don't even need to go to a... You, you don't even need to go, like, to a... To, a, to like a server you can just do this all in like a personal world if you want to and as you can see there's just loot and loot and stuff and things and awesome structures i love this <laughs> i'm you're, you're gonna hear me just say I, I, I that i love this a lot because this is by far one of my favorite uh, mods for zombies right now. Uh, there's so many features in this. There's also, if I go game mode, uh, as you can see, where civilization was completed and the beginning of adventure. As you can see, I have hunger and thirst bars. I'm still wrapping my head around the fact that there's so many weird changes to this. Uh, oh, I hear. I hear that. Yeah, let me see if I can unjam that. I hear them. If, if you guys can hear that, if you listen real close, there's zombies breaking blocks below my feet. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. They've detected that I'm here. So they're going to come out of the ground and try and find me. Which is probably one of the more interesting features of this, is that they will actually try and hunt you. Is that a cure? Anti-poison pill. I hope that's kind of a cure. But yeah. As you can see, you can just run around. Deal with the dead as you go. I hear a lot of them somewhere. I think they just mined into a lava pit. Um, but also, one thing you have to be worried about uh, in this mod is there is, in fact, infection. Players can be infected, and they can die from the infection. So you not only have to worry about hunger and thirst and all that, and hello, oh, there's also that weird shit. I don't know why he's glowing.
Fuck, this thing has a jam again. Okay, that gun sucks. So yeah, as you can see, um, that one dug all the way up from down there. Try to get to me. Um, and oh, fog has set in. I love that. <laughs> I love fog setting in. Uh, we're gonna go game mode, because I don't trust my current setup. Uh, and... This fog is actually really nice. I haven't actually seen this weather type. So, yeah, apparently there's weather weather types. Did not actually know that one. I found something out, new out while recording the video. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there's tons of different guns, as you can see. Even a gauze rifle, which... Why is there a gauze rifle? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on, where's the steel projectile? Flare. Steel projectile. Steel projectile. Where's a steel projectile? Emerald press mold. Do, do I just need a piece of steel? Is, is that what I need? I'm confused where steel projectile is. Steel. Cross rifle. Steel projectile. Here we go. So yeah, this gun takes a while to reload. All right, uh, let me just grab a zombie spawn egg real quick. Of course, not a normal zombie because there's not actually really many normal zombies. There's a lot of different armor. <laughs> um, so let's go with Apocalypse Rider. What are you? Are you a boss? Hold on. What what do, what different zombie types are? Santa zombie, wolf rider, burned zombie, sprint sprinter, military, strong, drowned zombie, minor, and normal zombie. So yeah, there's a lot of different zombies. There's, there's even a wolf zombie. And this is uh, the Apocalypse Rider is a Halloween zombie. <laughs> so yeah, there's Halloween stuff. That's ridiculous. Bag of beer. The fuck is this? And anti-nausea pills. Okay. <laughs> I see why that exists. All right. So yeah, there's this this fucking gauze rifle, which is probably one of my new favorite weapons now. <laughs> what if I can pierce through this glass? Damn, took like three pains. But yeah, um, there's so many features. I'm trying to figure out where to go next. Um, so you can get infected. You can find a cure. You can bleed. I've experienced that firsthand. It's not. It. It's very, very difficult to survive. Um, there's camo. There's oh, the night vision is kind of cool. The night vision is kind of cool. Turns everything green. And uh, I'm actually not sure because. Hold on. Yeah, I did change the tint a bit. Yeah, the the weirdest thing is almost everything in here is made to affect you more in survival than in creative. Which is one of the weirdest things I've experienced in a mod. Like, it literally specifies only in survival. For, like, most of what it does, it seems. Uh, I would love for this fog to go away, though. Because I'd love to be able to show off the fucking awesomeness of the city structure and the fact that this is like one of the biggest city structures I've ever seen in a mod. Uh, but apparently the game is saying no, so we're just going to explore to our heart's content with the fog. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch of different things. Every single floor on these bigger buildings is fully furnished. 
We're just going to blast our way out the window. And we're going to have ourselves a look around. Everything is fully detailed, which is one of my favorite parts of this. There's even, as you can see, there's even chests in the back of the truck. Also, I want to point out these are not normal chests. These are like loot crates. Like there's an entire section back here that's just loot chests. Which is very nice. There's also labs you can find. That's another thing I have not found. There's also bunkers, apparently. I haven't found a bunker yet. Uh, there's mega cities. God, finding a mega city. I don't know if mega cities are a structure or if that's just a loot type. But if there's a mega city, I I definitely want to find one eventually. I don't know. I'll be messing with this for a few days probably because this is. I I don't know about you guys, but I love zombie apocalypse stuff. Like I. I have become like a master of seven days to die. Uh, and I am really good at uh, Project Zomboid. Which I will probably be making more videos on at some point. Uh, but yeah, since the fog has set in, I can't really show off the city very well. So I am going to probably end this here. Uh, as you can see, this is a very fun little, little uh, mod. I, there's a bunch of shit I didn't even show you. There's a bunch of stuff that's not even explained on, like, the mod page. Like, I found this, the admin blocks. They're, like, zones so you can set up your own maps and stuff. It's like a zombie barrier to keep zombies out. But, yeah. Um, I hope everyone has enjoyed. If we should, if we should join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain the subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in this video, live stream, or later next. Peace, guys.